Hey guys, so first, sorry that this video is uh, is late. I normally publish this either on Sunday or uh, Tuesday, but I had uh, quite a week. So uh, for this week, that video is going to be slightly late. Now we're going to work on something that's pretty cool. Now, let me switch here. So this is Typhus, how it is uh, at the end of uh, the stream that we did on Monday night. Uh, let me just adjust my music here. I kind of like it a little bit louder than that. All right, here we go. So we did the highlights on the handle here, or we did part of it. We started them. They're not done. This is what we're going to be working tonight. So we're going to be using heavy body acrylic to bring this uh, a lot brighter than that. And we're going to do hints of highlights at the back as well. So my camera is a little bit darker than usual. This is because I'm going to, from time to time, bringing my palette uh, in the camera. And I want you to be able to see the actual colors that's on there. So first thing is we've got mahogany right here on the palette. Then burnt red right here. And then everybody white right there on the palette. So the heavy body is important because it allows us to get much crisper lines in there. So the first thing is going to be to mix a little bit of uh, burnt red with some mahogany. And this is going to be the uh, main highlight color for the part of the staff that is not exposed to light. So this is still a very dark color. I'm currently mixing this on the palette. So this is what you're seeing right there. So it is very dark. It's closer to mahogany than it is to burnt red. And that's perfectly fine because essentially that part is not exposed to light. So we don't want it to be super bright. So I'm going to do this very quickly. Yeah, brush first. I'm going to, let's call it monument palm weight number one. And for the back of the staff, the cool thing is that it is possible to be slightly sloppy and still have a good job here. I'm going to put paint on my brush and I'm damping most of it. I don't want most of that paint on my brush because I'm actually just going to go at the back, I'm going to do hints of lines at the place where edges are stronger. It's just hints. Those are not highlights. Well, they are, but it's just a slight hint of a highlight. It's not strong, it's just there. If you look very close, you're going to see it. Otherwise, you're, you might not even notice them. So, they are there right now, and I'm not going any further than that on the back of the staff. Now, on the front of the staff, when we did that highlight here, we actually built up to pure uh, burnt red. So I'm going to get the palette going. And we're going to look at some mixes to see what we can do. So the last part that we have was pure red, pure burnt red. I'm going to put a little bit of that burnt red with a little bit, just a tiny bit, you see it on my brush here, of that titanium white. That's heavy body titanium white. That gives me a bit of a pink. That looks good. I'm going to add a little bit more burnt red to this. I don't want this to be too strong right off the bat. Then we're going to do another puddle. That one is going to have a whole lot more of that white in it. Now when you're doing this, when you're mixing with heavy body stuff like that, uh, it can get a little bit messy. So be careful to use a brush that is maybe older or that you don't care much about. All right, so here we go. This is relatively uh, thick and this should be strong enough for our finest highlight. So I'm cleaning the brush real quick, damping it. And we're going to go with our um, monument number one for the first layer of highlights. 
Now, the last time what we did is we did literally the color right on the band. Now this time we're going for highlight. So we're looking at the sharp angle, the sharp edge. So I'm loading the brush and damping most of it. And on the sharp edge, I'm going to do lines and I need these lines to be somewhat long. Now I'm going to do a double pass here. I'm going to do one going up and I'll do one coming back down. I'm actually going to flip the model when I reach that point. All right. Now you do have to be careful. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to destroy your previous work. But the cool thing is this is actually quite forgivable. So cleaning the brush, I'm going to reload it. A little bit more of that pink, dark pink color that I have. And I'm going all the way up on that staff. Now on my first pass there, some lines were not quite strong enough. I'm going to do another one going up. Then I'm going to do one coming down. Reason for this is there's two there's two side that ape looking thing. So as you can see, it already brings a lot of uh, the finish into this. Now the exposure on the camera that you're seeing might be a little bit dark, so maybe you don't quite see it right now but when we reach the other color it's going to show really really well worst case i'm going to change the exposure right now the only thing that really is important is that you see the lines happening and it's it's not super important to have all be 100 percent perfect it's perfectly fine if this is a little bit messy all right, so the color is showing pretty uh, pretty strongly right now. I'm going to clean the brush. And now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch brush, going to monument double zero. And now we're going to our lighter color. And that lighter color, as a matter of fact, is even thicker than the one we just did. Now the good thing is, if you look at my brush really carefully, the fact that this color is thicker actually allows me to do lines that are a lot sharper than if it was very liquid. And we're going to just aim at the very middle of the larger line that we've created a moment before. Now, the thick paint here is super important. If that paint was thin, we would not have the same amount of control over it. And we would not be able to do lines that are this sharp on that surface here. The good thing with thick paint is control. So, there is a time for thick paint. Just that, you need to have the right time for thick paint. This here, is the right time for it. All right. So if you're looking at the staff right now, it is incredibly rich color-wise. The colors on this staff are incredibly, incredibly rich to the point where I'm actually going to bring the color a little bit to the front. So I'm going back to the previous color Keeping that small brush, I'm going to overextend a little bit the previous line because I think this would bring a lot of definition to the staff, a lot of richness in how the staff looks. And after that, I'm actually going to do a decision if I want to push it even more or not. That staff, believe me, is one fun thing to paint. 
really, really, really fun to paint. All right, so this kind of blends everything together. And I quite like that. I, I think I'm going to leave it be. However, if we're critical about the highlights, I'm going to, now that you've seen my palette, I'm going to bring the camera uh, exposure a little bit higher. So let me change this a little bit. I'm going to bring it higher. Picture is going to appear clearer. Okay, now you can see the highlights uh, probably a little bit better. Let me adjust the focus as well. Okay, here we go. So, look at how this side of the staff is much brighter than this side here. So this all comes with, this is a lighting effect that we're doing. Like we're, we're painting light on this so that when we look at the staff, we understand that lights come on this side. However, at the moment, if we're looking at this, the top of the staff here appears a lot brighter than the down part of the staff here. For my eyes at the moment, this creates an Basically, it's not balanced. So I'm going to go back to our much brighter color. And... <laughs> I love that song. I'm going to add a little bit more of that in the bottom part of the staff. Working the highlights on the bottom of the staff. I'm going to take a step back before I go too far going to validate that this is indeed what I want and in this case this is indeed what I want so this looks really good now why was it easy like painting that staff with what we just did there we brought quite a lot of detail in there and this is honestly when you're seeing something like that on a model it, it's quite impressive right but it was super easy basically Doing this was almost as easy as dry brushing it, but this is not dry brush. This is edge highlight. It's, it's fine detail. It's control detail. Now, reason for something like that, let me show you. I have a Space Marine here, and I'm going to use just the paint that I have there. So on my brush right now is straight out of the pot or has been put on a wet palette, uh, burnt red. If I'm doing a line with it, the line, right now this is a mini that is not primed, but the line will be thicker. If you're looking closely at the line, the line is not that sharp. It is somewhat thick. And basically it's not, it's not the best thing. And you do have to be careful in doing this. Now that case here was super easy because it's a sharp angle. And I just put my brush on the side. But if I was doing something that was uh, maybe a lot smaller or less defined, if I have thicker paint, so this is where the heavy body acrylic comes into play, I can basically get much better result very quickly. Look at how more defined that line here is. And it is very much more thinner. It is a lot more precise. Actually, I'm going to change the camera a little bit. Let's focus on this. So, let me play with the focus here. Okay, so on this side here, that very thin, very even, and very smooth line is the line that was created by mixing some heavy body white to, uh, to my paint. And on this side here, you see how not sharp that line is? That's the line that was created with more liquid paint. So there's an important lesson out of this. The lesson is there basically is there basically is a place and time for very thick paint and not only that but the, the control that the paint gives you when you start trying that stuff i'm going to do some more videos about that in the future because as far as i'm concerned this is absolute magic but 
you can also control to a degree some transparency in the paint and that is a game changer for me it changed absolutely everything it enables a painter in becoming much better because he has more control it's that simple and since what we're painting is actually so freaking tiny more control is better all right so that's going to be it for this video i am going to do another one uh, later this week because that one was a little bit short but i still wanted to get something to you guys earlier this week so i thought that explaining the heavy body with the space marine and everything was a good one so i hope that you learned something and i'll see you see i'll see you soon bye guys